Alright, so 2023, nasa May na tayo, medyo ilang buwan na rin nakaraan as we started this year 2023. And medyo nakita natin, nararamdaman natin guys na bumabalik na talaga yung sigla sa negosyo, sa economy natin dito sa Pilipinas. Ang dami ng tao na sa labas, namimili, na sa mga malls, nagpapasyal, pumapasyal anytime. Anywhere. Basta, we're almost getting there. Eh, ano nga ba yung magandang pagkakataon or opportunity right now, this 2023, na pasukan? Yung talagang patok na patok na negosyo. If gusto mong malaman, make sure tapusin mo yung video kasi for sure matutuwa ka sa mga isi-share kong mga businesses. Okay, so yung first business na patok na patok this 2023 is actually uh, medyo malapit lang eh. Pag pinag-usapan natin yung negosyo, huwag na tayong lalayo. Ito yung business of offering or providing accounting services. Pag-iisipin nga natin dahil medyo nagsishift na yung tao, no? yung pag pag-iisip ng tao na from becoming just an employee na trabaho na tayo forever, medyo tumatawid na tayo dun sa pagiging entrepreneur, negosyante, and maraming gusto mag-start. Maraming gustong pumasok. And yan yung opportunity for you. Kasi Uh, hindi kasi ganun kadali talaga magsimula ng negosyo. Maraming bagay, tao, uh, construction, mga materialis. Pero pagdating sa day-to-day or monthly, marami rin kailangan asikasuhin na paperworks and accounting services. Siguro, quick example lang. Uh, when you start a business, you have to register sa DTI. Uh, get your secure your mayor's permit and also register your business as an official business with a BIR. So, dito papasok yung accounting services. Medyo one-stop shop na yan. Eh. They can provide that service, help you get registered to all the different government agencies na na-mention ko and other agencies that are necessary depending on what kind of business that your client is uh, putting up. So, pwede small business yan, barangay business, or even a corporation. So, an accounting office, accounting firm, comes in very handy. Parang it lessens the burden and makes it very convenient for a first-time entrepreneur, bagong negosyante, just to focus on their main business. If you're providing, for example, services ng Uh, barbershop or food. Uh, focus ka lang pag, uh, paggawa ng magandang menu, masarap na pagkain or focus ka lang sa pagiging uh, pag-hire ng magigaling na barbero. And accounting, office mo, you just send in data uh, needed, mga sales mo, expenses, and they'll help you through the filing for the monthly Uh, required filing, mga fees that you have to pay, pay sa local government and all that. So, one less task, one less burden, the same time. Ang laki talaga eh. When I think of it, ang laki-laki ng potential and patok na patok talaga to guys this year. Kasi nga, ang daming excited, ang daming gustong pumasok sa negosyo and Uh, if you are able to partner with them and help them in this particular aspect of the business, uh, rewarding siya. Malaki rin ang income. Uh, you can have uh, so many clients that you can handle. So that's the first business I think patok na patok this 2023. Let's talk about yung pangalawang business na I think patok din na simulan or gawin this 2023, no? Uh, since the pandemic started, medyo nagbago rin kasi yung 
lifestyle ng tao. Kung bagay na sa bahay lang tayo, we're always on our phone, we're always using our laptop. A lot of people are in, kunyari, work from home. So, kailangan naka-Zoom meeting tayo la- lahat, di ba? So, what happened? Two years, uh, even this year, we're still doing that. And ano yung pinakamalaking pagbabago? Medyo mas nag-adjust yung tao to use technology. Siguro before the pandemic, di ka mahilig masyadong mag-computer or hindi ka naman lang inanonood ng YouTube or Facebook. But now, people are more used to it. They're spending more time uh, kasi na-experience nila yung convenience of ordering online, food, grab, lalamove, and all that. So, mas nagiging uh, attached na tayo of doing things online. And what's good about this is another opportunity for those who want to venture or magkaroon ng sariling negosyo. Ito medyo maganda dahil unang-una, wala kang ganong kalaking puhunan na kailangan ilabas. No? Pangalawa, kapal lang mukha lang talaga yung kailangan dito. Eh. <laughs> so, if si seryosoy mo din, sisipagan mo, ang laki-laki ng potential. And what I'm talking about is, yung patok na negosyo na to is become a content creator. Diba? Kasi libre naman yung mga platform. Kunyari, mag-post ka ng video, mag-upload ka ng video sa YouTube. Mamit mo yung mga requirements to have how many subscribers, how many watch time uh, required ni YouTube. And then, magiging eligible ka na to receive uh, monetization or kikita ka na. Mapakita ka na ni YouTube. Ganun din naman sa ibang platform. Instagram, sa Facebook, if you have many followers, you know, Facebook Reels ngayon, yan yung nauso ngayon. So, ito yung tingin ko, madaling gawing negosyo, uh, wala or maliit lang na puhunan, pero ito yung exciting part niya, guys. Ang laki ng potential ng pagkakakita mo. If gagawin mo siyang seryoso, if sisipagan mo, and if meron ka talagang ma-entertain, na audience mo. Kasi hindi lang naman magbabase yung income mo from the number of viewers or views that you have. But ang exciting part dyan, baka maging partner ka pa ng mga brands and they offer you deals and packages. So, exciting. So, I hope pag napanood mo to video ko, ma-encourage ka rin kasi start ng YouTube mo, you start uploading videos or content online, post ka ng Photos ng negosyo mo, product mo, or service, or show the people kung paano ka nagbibigay ginhawa. Or how do you solve their problem you know, online. So, yun yung pangalawang patok na patok na negosyo this 2023. Alright guys, so number three na tayo. Ano yung patok na patok na negosyo this 2023? So, hindi na natin papalayuin pa. No? We'll just connect everything sa pag-tat, pag-support sa isang negosyo. The first one, di ba? Accounting. The second, content creation. Kasi ngayon, marami na rin kailangan talaga yung business. Yung marunong gumawa ng mga videos, photos, creatives. Di ba? So, it could be, you could be that personal brand ambassador. Pero the third patok na negosyo na gusto kong pag-usapan or share sa inyo is actually outsourcing. Maraming gumagawa nito as a freelancer. Yung kumbaga, individual ka, uh, solo career mo yan, na uh, medyo may kaalaman ka talaga, may experience ka mag-edit ng video, gumawa ng mga posters through Canva na very attractive and engaging. Uh, that's good. Pero you're still working Diba? You're still working for yourself. So what I'm trying to say is level up mo ng konti. Ikaw yung mag-start ng tinatawag na outsourcing agency. Kasi marami talaga ng talented na Filipinos. The, especially in the creative side. And a lot of people, uh, foreign companies, foreign business people have uh, 
done this for so many years. And I think it's really picking up this year. Kasi nga, work from home setup has really been effective. Uh, Na-proved natin yan for the past two years. And it's really productive on their part and also cost-effective. Medyo nakatipid sila. At the same time, malaking balik sa investment na ginagawa nila. If you're able to put up a venture like this, gantong negosyo, no? you can basically manage this remotely. Meaning, if you want to be in the Philippines, somewhere sa Boracay, or kung bakit you want to travel for the next week, you can do so as long as your agency uh, is running, di ba? Yeah, the people, you can source people na who can do specific tasks. Uh, could be a virtual assistant, could be a real estate uh, cold caller, or somebody who's an expert in social media uh, who can basically manage yung mga business pages na mga uh, foreign businesses. Diba? Or gusto mo lang talaga, ikaw yung agency known for video editing. Medyo malaki yung income dyan. So, you have a number of video editors that are part of your agency. You guys can do it. Uh, you can have your physical office or you can just also have a remote setup. And the best part kasi dito is very low yung management. No? Kasi nga, remote naman kayo. You just talk online. The same time, Medyo malaki yung income kasi yung ang nagiging target clients with this kind of businesses is foreign people with businesses in Australia, the US, London, New Zealand. And we're talking about siguro minimum, they'll pay you $1,000, $2,000 for certain job. So, medyo malaki yun if we convert it into Philippine Peso. And if you're able to prove and have a successful campaign with them, uh, lalaki na yung lalaki. No? From one client, you can grow your agency to five clients and then ten clients and so and so forth. And you can also uh, somehow dictate your prices. So, medyo kakaiba siya but it's been there uh, for so many years. Pero sa tingin ko, uh, talaga na-attract na talaga yung foreign, foreign businesses to work more with Filipino talents. And if you want to take advantage of this uh, opportunity, parang good timing talaga ngayon. Diba? Good timing talaga. And people are expecting of a recession, so companies are still uh, cutting down on their expenses. But, they want to deliver high quality work. And one of the best ways to do that is by outsourcing their creatives, some of their management work or admin processes through this online outsourcing agencies. So, yun lang muna guys, tatlong businesses na I think patok na patok this 2023. And if you like these businesses, Make sure you comment below uh, or and also subscribe on my YouTube channel and share this video for me to keep on uh, sharing more about business. I really want to share this, yung mga natutunan ko, especially if you are one of those who really want to get started this year. Alright, so guys, more success and good luck to everybody.